You know, I gotta ask, why do they always start with the lights off like this? How am I supposed to read the cue cards? Hey, welcome back to He Shoots, He Scores, where we interview the greatest composers in Hollywood. I'm your host, Richard Lewis. Today's guest is none other than... Who the f*** are you? Uh, my name is Bear McCreary. Bear? Like a grizzly bear? Yep. Ah. Uh... Easy there, big fella. I get it. <laughs> All right, all right, all right, all right. So, Bear, uh, for those of us who don't know who the f*** you are, including myself, tell us a few things you've scored. Uh, well, I've done a lot of uh, sci-fi and horror genre shows. I've done uh, Battlestar Galactica, Never saw The it. Walking Dead, Never saw it. Terminator, The Sarah Connor Chronicles, Never saw it. Human Target. Never saw it. Um, you know, stuff like that. That's a lot of nerdy shit, man. I think I am a nerd, probably. Uh, I, I grew up on science fiction. I grew up reading comic books and sci-fi novels. And Are you the new go-to guy for sci-fi? I, I don't know if I'd say I'm I'm the new go-to guy, but I've been very fortunate that, that I've done a lot of great... You know, it uh, used to be John Williams, but I bet he's difficult to deal with, and he probably charges a lot more than you, too. Yes, I mean, obviously he... John Williams charges more than me, but it's... Who do you think would win in a fight? John Williams versus Hans Zimmer. Huh. Uh, I... Wait, music abilities factor into the fight somehow? And physical prowess. You know, it would be a tough call, but I, I think John Williams would have the disadvantage uh, uh, physically because he's, he's older, he's been around for a while, but his track record speaks for itself, and I think uh, musically he would uh, emerge the victor. Okay, Jerry Goldsmith versus Howard Shore. Jerry Goldsmith's track record is so powerful that I think even if you counted him as being deceased, he would still win because he did uh, Alien and Star Trek and Gremlins and... We get it, nerd. Live long and prosper. Okay, here's one. You versus Stu Phillips. You know who he is, right? Oh, I, I know Stu Phillips very well. Stu Phillips wrote the original Battlestar Galactica. That's right! Which definitely is like an uppercut to the jaw. But the finishing blow, he wrote the theme to Night Rider. And now there's a composer. Why didn't you make the new Battlestar Galactica theme sound more like the original? Uh, well, you know, there was a, a feeling with the producers that we wanted to separate the new Battlestar Galactica from the old by not having that recognizable... Hey, I got an idea, Mr. Bear. How about you show us how you write a theme song? Well, um, how do you write a song? So is this, uh, is this, are we talking like, Just um, write a theme that sounds exactly like all your other stuff, like all the other composers do. Uh, 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 okay. Uh, so what I normally do, you know, you, you gotta, you gotta pick the key that you're in, right? So then like, you know, I just start with a little, I don't know, a little pattern, kind of something like this, you know, like... Sounds kind of sci-fi to me, you know? Give me more of that, will you? Then it needs like a, like a melody line. Like, well, like, come here. Can you help me out with this? Put your finger there. Not there. There. Like this? Okay. So now what I want you to do is you do this. <laughs> I want you to do that. Now you just do that while I do the other part, okay? Now, just wait. Okay, wait, I got wait it. I got to, it. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four. And then now you go. I used to have a dog named Bear. What a great dog. Um, I don't think I was ever quite the same after Bear died. Uh, I, I remember feeling sad and depressed. I think that's when it all started. All my issues, all this anxiety. I think I'm having a revelation here. You were like the key that opened the door to my soul. I feel free. This is amazing. I can fly. How can I? Thank you. What the frack was that?